here we are at the Daniel Webster Elementary School and we're standing in front of two gas-fired fire tube boilers that are producing steam. What the strategy here is to remove these two boilers and put in two new gas-fired condensing type boilers that will produce hot water very efficiently. They'll be pumped throughout the building uh, using the existing pumps and variable frequency drives. The system would be tied into a new digital control system that will optimize the heating system to further enhance the efficiency. What I'm standing in front of here is a refrigeration system that actually takes city water, passes it through the condensers to cool the refrigerant, and then dumps it to drain. Uh, the new code uh, requires that this water either be recirculated into a cooling tower or we go with air-cooled equipment. So this is non-code compliant and one of our energy conservation strategies is to remove this and replace it with air-cooled equipment, therefore eliminating the wasted uh, water. Here we're looking at an antiquated control system that controls the HVAC equipment in, in this building. As you can see, that we're, we're dealing with some old-fashioned time clocks, some hand auto off uh, control mechanisms, and down here you can see there's a scale that the facility manager uses when the outside air temperature reaches a certain point. He modulates controls on here to, to provide certain temperatures. This will all go away under our program and we'll provide them with new direct digital controls, optimize all the equipment in the building and have it run harmoniously with each other. Here we have a unit ventilator very similar to the, the other schools that we saw. We have the same types of problems with new, old pneumatic control systems that are non-functioning. As you can see down in here, there's actuators that are supposed to open up outside air dampers in, in, in concert with return air, uh, bring in a certain amount of fresh air for the students. These dampers are locked up, either rusted or, or malfunctioned. So the plan is to replace these unit ventilators with high-tech unit ventilators that will measure CO2 levels in the, in the classroom as well as temperature and modulate the outside air accordingly to dilute the, the CO2, which provides a better learning environment for the students at a lower cost. Here we have single pane windows with steel frames. As you can see, they're rusted, uh, they barely work, very difficult to operate. Uh, the strategy here is to replace these windows with fiberglass Energy Star double pane windows.